the Angel Academy Rehearsal Hall. It's time to warm up those vocal cords because Mary and Joseph have just arrived in Bethlehem. That's right, angels hurry. This could be the glorious night we've been waiting for. I know you didn't mean any harm, so just go ahead and 
get along with everyone else. But promise me, and I mean really promise me, that from now on, you'll wait patiently for the Father's order. We promise. And speaking of promises, tonight could be the very night the promised Messiah is born. For what God promises, By the way, I'll let you all in on a little secret. I know his name. They will call him Jesus.
guys, when you look through this, you can see everything. Wow! Oh no, you guys have got to see this. No, Halo, not now. But you've got to see what's going on. Harpo, no, I don't need to see anything. I'm waiting for the Father's command. But wait! Hey, 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 settle down, you two, settle down. Now, Angel, the scriptures say that one day, at the very mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus, the baby being born any minute now, is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And you guys, thank you! Better, much, much better. Angels at ease. Yes, every knee will bow. Even him? <clears throat> yes, Angelica, especially him. Let me just remind you all that Lucifer, yes, I said it, Lucifer, was at one point an archangel, exactly like myself. But because of pride and his unwillingness to honor God, he was banished from heaven and took almost an entire third of the angels with him. But make no mistake, angels, God is in control and he has a plan. He is sending his son to earth to save the people from their sin. God absolutely has a plan. He is the perfect one, the eternal one. He knows all. Yeah. He is our mission. So Joseph and Mary began the long and tiring journey to Bethlehem.
happening on Earth right now? It's gnarly! Mary had a trial with a donkey! I mean, the lady is nine months pregnant! And they couldn't find a room anywhere in Bethlehem! Every place was full! So she had to stay in a stable of all places! And wait, there's more! She gave birth to Jesus! Yes, Jesus! Right there in a dirty stable! Are you with me? All I need is this lamb there in swallowing clothes! Like in a feeding trough! In a stable! You know what's happening? We were briefed on the birth ten minutes ago! But wait! You guys, that's like so five minutes ago. But wait! Stop right there! Not another word! Look! You guys have fought my hand. You're both grounded from flying tonight. Now go in the back and hang up your wings. What? You've got to be kidding me. No, I'm sorry. I've warned you and warned you. Instead of making the announcement tonight, mm, mm, you guys will be making the angel Coco. What? Coco? We want to share the good news. Not in the kitchen. Tap luck. <laughs> Run away. Read some books. Possibly about making some cocoa. Get to the kitchen. Bogus, dude! Now, angels, now that they're gone, it's time for us to stretch up. Stretch out your wings and fasten your halos! Yeah! We want to go! We knew the baby had been born in Bethlehem, but when did the father want us to announce it? So, we patiently, patiently waited.
did you see those shepherds run? I don't think they heard Gabriel say the fear not line. Whenever we say fear not, they freak out. Humans. <laughs> Thank you very much, Maddie. This is Michael speaking. Uh, what that? Excuse me? Uh, hold on, I, I can't hear what you're saying. Gabriel, can you please remind me to bug God about getting some of these new iPhones? So much better than this dinosaur system. Look, it still has a turn on it. How crazy. Okay, please continue, sir. What that? Oh, really? Okay, give me one second, please. You there, come here. Do you know where Harper and Halo are? I need to know where they are. Thank you. Well, it's not hard for a halo hat. They're both here. Sit tight, I'll fly out and take a look around. Well, it seems the fast circuit's overloaded again. I'm gonna have to go out there and see what's up. I suspect it's probably some suspicious behavior from Lucifer. And angels, let's take a look at how Joseph and Mary are doing. I wonder if they understand that the savior of the world is in their arms.
about the birth of Christ. And so, he tried to confuse the wise men from being able to follow the star. Oh, would do such a thing? Oh yes, he would do such a thing. But I'm told that there were two very brave angels who worked very hard <coughs> making sure that the star was clearly seen and that the wise men were able to get there. Who did that? Well, Angelica, believe it or not, but I'm told that it was Harpo. And Miss Halo Happy! Halo! They were trying to tell us earlier, but um, we wouldn't let them finish. But look now, the Bethlehem star is shining brightly, and the wise men, the wise men are right on time. Savior. You two were such angels, really. We 
we know now that you were trying to tell us earlier about Lucifer's King, but um, we wouldn't take the time to listen. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Because of you, the wise men have made it safely to Bethlehem and were able to worship our Savior. And we want to say thank you. <laughs> Now, Harpo and Halo Hattie, have a seat. We've just got to tell you about our exciting visit to Earth, a night that changed the world.
We now present to you the Angels Alert cast. Kelsey Bowen as Gabriel. Madison Richardson as Michael. Alex Wicker as Harpo. Olivia Curry as Halo. Lydia Varnum as Angelica. And the Salt Harbor Christian Academy Elementary Department as the Angels of Earth. to uh, make sure I was taking notes here. We're gonna do this again on Sunday evening. And these children did amazing. I can't see you, but raise your hand. Anybody got any errands to run tomorrow? Anybody be out and about tomorrow? We have a stack of cards here with a special invitation for our Sunday night's performance at 6 p.m. We're gonna leave them up here on the platform. If you want and you know you wanna hand one out to somebody, if you're going through the drive-through tomorrow, picking up a cheeseburger or maybe a Starbucks or something, hand them a card and uh, tell them you just saw one of the greatest shows in the tri-county, tri-state, tri-country, tri-any place you'll ever go and see a bunch of kids do some amazing stuff. I want to thank all the parents for uh, all the extra practices and extra things that you've done. Thank you for that. I'm looking. Is Pastor Jason, are you close? I want you to, if you would, uh, end in prayer and, and pray over us as we leave. The holiday season is documented to be some of the loneliest times in people's life. It's supposed to be all of this wonderful stuff, and it is, but it also brings a lot of stress. And I'm telling you that God can turn things around for you in a split second when you will acknowledge him. And we've heard it through the mouth of babes tonight. And uh, we are so happy that you came. Um, we want you back Sunday night. We want to pack the rest of these seats out. We want to have to move these ropes if we have to and fill it up. And uh, we're asking that the children, he's going to pray and then we're going to dismiss. But we're asking that the children stay here on the platform. They're going to take their costumes off right here where they are. And they're going to leave them here. We will collect them. And then they're going to come to you. Thank you very much. Ain't that awesome? Sister Brandy, Sister Lacey, Brother Donnie, all the staff, let's give them a great big hand. It is important that we keep Christ in Christmas. And we understand what this season is all about. And uh, I tell you, Christmas means Christ Mass. And that's when people come together in Christ's name. And that's what we're doing right now. And I want us to ask God to come down. There may be someone beside you that is going through something. I know that Jesus Christ can help them tonight. And I want you to pray for the people around you. Pray for your family that may not be here for this season. Will you bow your head? And I don't mind if you lift your voice and pray with me if you'd like to. Let's pray together. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your goodness and I thank you for your mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the creator of all the universe. You as the creator, you chose to come down and robe in flesh and become our savior. Lord, we're so thankful for your mercy and your grace. God, but you didn't stop there. You died on the cross for us and you were put into a borrowed tomb and you came out victorious on the third day. God, that you can live in each and every one of our hearts. I pray right now that you will touch every single person here. Lord, I don't know what anyone might be going through. I don't know what they're facing this week or next week, but you know what they're going through. And I pray that you will touch their heart like only you can. 
I pray that you will draw them to you and help us to be the church that will befriend them and wrap them up and let them know that there is a way, a better way to get to heaven. I pray in the name of Jesus for our families, wherever they may be. I pray your protection over them through this holiday season. I pray that you will watch over them and guide them and bring every one of them closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone said amen. Thank you for coming one more time.